Okay, brace yourselves. I have a mask on today. It, it's just that kind of day. Do you know what I mean? I didn't want to put makeup on. It's cold. It's dreary outside. My bog. My bog. <laughs> my body is Charlie Horse from here to who knows where. And you know, I was just doing a mask here. This mask. It's the Pixie Glow Mud Mask that I love. I would recommend it a million percent. You know, I'm just having a chill day here. We all have that, right? Anyways, for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my Heaven at TJ Maxx vlog, as well as literally baby, baby, baby haul towards the end. Um, so for this week, there really, really wasn't much at TJ. A lot of you guys messaged me and told me that you weren't successful in finding things at TJ this week either. And then I remember that last year and the year before that, January is a month where TJ Maxx pretty much has nothing. Towards the end of the month, that's when they start kind of picking up again. Um, Emma is a pro at these things, so she's like, yeah, the first two, three weeks of January, don't expect much. So just wanted to let you guys know, don't feel bad if you don't find anything. I haven't found much either. Uh, so this video is going to be really, really short. But yes, if you're new here, hello, my name is Leora. I upload these videos every single Saturday. And I usually find pretty good stuff, so if you like these kind of videos, then definitely subscribe. I also usually try to wear some cutesy makeup looks, um, just besides for today. So if this is your first video, then I have some good stuff. I have some good stuff. Trust me. Um, and then what else did I want to say? My nose scratches. One second. Oh, yeah. I uploaded a um, Get Ready With Me video yesterday. I'm using a bunch of TJ Maxx makeup. I'll leave that linked down below if you guys want to check that out. But... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so for this week, I found a decent amount of Pretty Vulgar. So last week, we found a nice amount of their stuff. This week, there's only one repeat. I want to just let you know that they're restocking on the foundations, but everything else here we haven't seen yet. So let's get started. This is one of these shimmering swan illuminators. It's gorgeous. You guys know their packaging is always so on point and like, I don't know, vintage -y, I should say. I love the name. It's in Glimmers of BS, I want to say, and it's retailing for $7.99. It's so affordable. I love the packaging. It is beautiful. It's silver, and then the highlighter looks like it's a gorgeous champagne, like a perfect champagne. Not too pink, not too yellow, not too warm, not too cool. For $8, damn full size, I think I need you. So last week, we did find the Bird's Nest um, Blurring Beauty Mousse. I did purchase this, and um, we found it again this week. So this one right here is in 2.1. Still have it, didn't have a chance to use mine, but we'll see, we'll see. Next up, we have some of these pretty vulgar undercover concealers. So we haven't seen the concealer yet. Really cool way I have them in two different shades here. $6.99, I only found two pieces like scattered. So here are the two shades that I found. The bottom one is in six and the one above that is in 6.3. The packaging is just basic, typical, um, simple. So last week we did find a gorgeous pink nail polish by Pretty Vulgar. This time we have this color. It's a gorgeous wine shade and it's called Spilled Wine. The packaging is so yum. I love it. I love it. And this right here is retailing for $4.99. Pretty good price tag for a nail polish from Pretty Vulgar. This is so cute. I see that they have some of these simple kind to skin micellar cleansing water. I'm thinking, have I tried the simple ones? I don't remember. I know I tried Garnier. It's possible I tried this one and... I don't know, honestly, I can't say for sure, but I've tried other products from Simple and I really, really like the brand. It's very, like, gentle on the skin. So this right here is a 13.5 fluid ounce size bottle. It's massive, really cute packaging, and it's only $4.99. We also have a decent amount of products here from the Yes2 brand. So Yes2 Tomatoes uh, Micellar Cleansing Water. This is $2.99, pretty large size. What is it? Almost 8 fluid ounces of product. We have the charcoal one as well, and same size, basically $2.99. This right here is the Yes2 Cotton or Cotton um, Cleanser, and it is retailing for $2.99 as well. We have the Yes2 Cucumber Smoothing Cooling Mud Mask that is $3.99, two full ounces of product. And, and then we also have this little uh, moisturizer, and here we are getting. 1.7 full ounces of product, and this is $5.99. This actually looks pretty good. It's the Protect and Minimizes Irritation Facial Mask. $3.99, two fluid ounces of product. I've only tried the um, cleansers from the Yes2 Cotton line, and they sucked, so I don't know if this is good or not. Okay, on the card here, I see that they have a pretty vulgar, my lips are sealed, um, what is this, liquid lipstick. I found one last week in like a bronzy shade, and I had like um, glitters in there. I don't feel like it's gonna be gritty on the lips, but I think it's a metallic liquid lipstick just based on looking at them. And this is in the shade Brilliantly Sneaky. I think that's gonna be my new name. Brilliantly Sneaky, I love it. And this full-size liquid lipstick is $5.99 at Marshalls. On the cards here, I also see that they're stocking us up on the Superhero Liner from It Cosmetics. So that's a few weeks back. It's it's like a felt-tip liquid liner, full-size. And this is a $9.99 here. 
Okay, so next I also see that we have the Black Pine 3D um, Sculpting and Firming Lifting Serum. This is also something that we've never seen. I feel like uh, more and more products are just popping out from this brand, Chorus. I don't know, I say it so weirdly, I feel like. Okay, it has 1.01 fluid ounces of product and it's $19.99. And, and then here's what the product looks like. It looks so freaking high-end and just luxurious. I think this is at least 60 on Sephora, if not more. And then I see that they have more products from the Black Pine um, line from Corez. This is the 3D Sculpting, Firming, and Lifting Sleeping Facial. Very cool. Very cool. 1.35 fluid ounces of product. And this is $19.99. It's crazy that you can get like a full skincare regimen from Marshall and TJ Maxx. And then they also have this uh, duo. This is the Anti-Wrinkle um, and Firming Day Cream and Night Cream. So it's like a two-in-one situation. There's plastic, so you buy it as a set. There's 1.35 fluid ounces of product in each, and on the box and on the product, it's just say um, what is used for what, like what's for the night and what's for the day. You're like, yeah, we get it, girl, okay? And this is only $19.99 here. I know that Lancome has a ton of amazing skincare products. This right here is the Smoothing and Plumping, plumping uh, Water Infused Cream. So there's 1.6 fluid ounces of product in here, and it's $34.99. And then we have this Avino Clear Complexion Purely Matte Peel Off Mask. <laughs> no! So there's two ounces of product in here and it's retailing for $4.99. And then this looks kind of interesting. I don't know anything about this brand, but it's probably, I think a Korean brand. I, I can never tell what the words, guys, don't kick my butt. But if you do know what brand, like where it's from, then let us know. But basically there are a selection of masks in here. And I will say that usually when I do try out masks from like Korean brands, like they're really good, like really, really good. So we get 18 masks in here for $14.99. Great to, you know, buy and keep some for yourself, give some to others, keep all for yourself, give all to others, you know what I mean? So last week, I, Emma and I found this and accidentally I deleted the footage. I found this and the palette. I'm so upset that I deleted that. I just, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways, um, we found it here again on Clarence Clarence. It's the Pure um, X Dr. Seuss The Grinch liner kit. So we get a green, white, red, and black. Really cute, very festive. I love the packaging. How insane is the price tag? Three dollars? What? It's less than a dollar each. They have a set of Allure lashes here. I love their um, lashes in the style half seas. It's beautiful on. But yeah, these are actually pretty nice. I sell them at Sephora for I think like 30 each, which is kind of up there. It comes with the glue and a little applicator. And this is retailing for $16.99. We have some skincare products here. This is from Kiehl's. It's the, it's the Rosa Arctica Lightweight Cream. Youth um, Regenerating Cream. Really, really cool. 2.5 fluid ounces of product in here. There was no box, so I don't know if it actually comes with a box or what but it is retailing for $39.99 here. They also have the eye cream from the same line, the Rose Arctica Eye Cream. Um, visibly replenishes and revitalizes the eye area. Cool. Uh, $34.99. We have this right here from Bobbi Brown. It's the Remedies uh, Skin Moisture Solution. Basically, it says um, it has hyaluronic acid. Um, it pulls moisture into the skin and supports skin's natural moisturizing um, factor. So if you have very dry skin, maybe this would be something you'd be interested in. Hi, it's talking to me. And this is retailing for only $19.99 from Bobbi Brown. That's pretty good. Next up, um, they have this um, Lancome, the Smoothing and Plumping Pearly Lotion. So I would say something like a toner. I love the packaging. I always see this on Sephora's website and I'm like, what is this? What is this? But it looks really, really nice. I haven't really like dived into a ton of their skincare products, but I hear good things about them. And this is retailing for $34.99. We have a kit here from Burghese, I want to say. I think that they're a really high-end brand. Br brand. What? High-end brand. It comes with a full-size cleanser, a moisturizer, and then something else. I'm not really sure. I think it's another moisturizer. I, I cannot tell. But anyway, it's packaged beautifully. Great gift idea. And it says original value is $49, but here it's $29.99. Okay, I don't know what this is exactly, but this is firstly $7.99. Why are you being an egg shape? Like, this is the cutest. I love the packaging. I go crazy for cute packaging. Apparently, it's charcoal egg soap. Very cool. Next, we have this Pure 4 in 1 blush book. I used to own this, but I decluttered it. I'll tell you guys why in a second. This is retailing for $7.99, and we get four blushes in here. It's cruelty free, talc free, vegan friendly, gluten free, paraben free. And then here are the shades that are included. They are removable, so if you don't want to keep it in this palette, then you don't have to. The sizes of the pans are huge. These are insanely pigmented, like literally a dot will go the longest way ever. Um, none of them are matte, they all have more of like a sheen to them. The orangey shade is the most luminous one, I should say. I personally wasn't using it that much. Um, so that's why I decluttered it, but I would, I mean, I don't know, thinking about it, I kind of want this because it was really, really, really good, but we, we have parted ways already. 
Next up, we have this Pure Creator palette. It's kind of heavy. It's the face palette. And this is retailing for $8.99 here at Marshall. This is also cruelty-free, uh, vegan, no, yeah, vegan, paraben-free, um, talc-free, and um, all the good stuff. The shades in here are really pretty. We get, what, 12 eyeshadows, um, pretty neutrally shades, some mattes and some metallic, some glittery shades, a highlighter, as well as a, a contouring shade slash bronzer. I really, really like the color story, and this is removable as well, so you can kind of take this piece out and just create your own customized palette if you choose to do so. I like that we have that option in case, you know? And then we have some of these Rimmel Stay Matte um, Liquid Mousse Foundations, both in 403, $2.99 here at Marshalls. There's one fluid ounce of product in here. I do remember the consistency being really, like, fluffy-ish. Like, it just felt good on the skin, but I would say a little bit goes a very long way, and I, from what I remember, I think it has medium to pretty full coverage. We haven't seen Laura Geller in quite some time, but this right here is the Wearables Big Eyeshadow Palette. Really cute. There's only one piece here, and it's retailing for $7.99. I actually have been really enjoying big eyeshadows. I've never gotten into them, but since I tried the BH Zodiac Palette, I'm like, man, I mean, I hear what you're saying. Here's what this beauty looks like. We pretty much get, yeah, like five baked eyeshadows, um, a nice champagne gold shade, some browns, and a nice green olive color, and a little brush as well. Yay, we found a pretty vulgar lipstick, finally. This is a matte lipstick. Bury them with a smile, love that. It's kind of like dark in a way, like that saying, like dark, but then it's like with a smile, so it kind of adds brightness, you know. Good line, good line, pretty vulgar. $5.99, packaging so cute. Honestly, the shade is heavenly. It's a perfect um, nude, and it's in the shade Prim and Proper. Some more products here from Pretty Vulgar. This is the Defined Brilliance Brow Product Eyebrow Pencil. This is $5.99. I only found it in one shade in Classy Broad. Packaging is really beautiful. Um, there's a spoolie on one side and then the brow product on the other side. It has like a 3D-ish, 4D-ish interesting shape. We've seen a nice amount of CarverGirl mascaras, but I'm pretty sure we haven't seen this one. It's the Full Spectrum. Um, Lash Ambition Mascara by CoverGirl. Look what the wand. Look at what the wand looks like. It's so. It looks so good. And this one isn't very black. So a shade that I feel like a ton of people would wear. Usually have pretty good luck with um, CoverGirl's mascaras. And this here is two ninety nine. Yes, so I still have the mask on. I'm going to go wash it off in a minute. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Even though it wasn't the longest video of life, I still hope you enjoyed watching. And. Um, Oh, I also found the Grinch palette, but accidentally I deleted the footage, which rarely happens. I'm usually very on top of like my videos on my my SD card, but ah, that day I deleted it. I was like, <sighs> anyway, just wanted to let you know that it was at TJ's. But the only thing that I picked up at TJ for this week was this. They have a ton of working out gear at TJ Maxx now, like sports bros and all that. I'm about that life, so I have to. I probably will pick up a few things. But I just picked up this sweater from Champion, which I've worn already. I don't know why I left the tag on. <laughs> this was $24.99. I love it. I love the tie-dye effect. This color is beautiful. I already wore it in a PR haul video, and you guys said you loved it. I got it in a size large, so it's very oversized, and I look a little bit boxy with it. So um, I feel like I might just end up wearing it just at home. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys had any luck this week at your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And yes, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.